Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for Victoria 2, Balkans multiplayer. I don't know, what are we naming this series? Remove Kebab? No idea. <laughs> we'll come something. up with something. There is already a, a Remove Kebab. So in the there. last episode, Kelvin's plan didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, Russia's a big coward. And Ooh. your plan B is to try again until it works. Now, shh. I have a secret <laughs> plan. It involves Prussia. Mm -hmm. Yes, invite them to your plot. That CK2 reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, so, where we last left off, uh, we were also getting uh, a bit of money for factories soon, which should be exciting. Yep. And pause. Uh, so, we were just talking about factories, actually, Wow, off I already finished that research, pretty much. Yep, it's done. Yeah, because you had a bunch of points yeah. stored up. Mm -hmm. At this so, point, store up more points. I still, um, got, yeah, I still got 100 stored. That's fine. Right now we want to store up points because we will unlock the idealism tech in 1840. Right. Under philosophy culture. Yeah. Plus 50% research points. Yep, that's good. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason you save up for that tech column. Yeah, like any research bonus is always good in any strategy game ever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's true. Can you it's stop always. a research? Um, yes, but you lose your points in it, so it's generally a bad idea. If you've already started on something, just see it through, it's fine. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world. I don't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> that whole tree is basically research bonuses. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's why every time you see one of those activation years yeah. coming up... Your research you're research does. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, since we're in 39, 40's coming up. So hey, we need to stockpile some points for that. Mm -hmm. Simple, uh, simple math, I guess. Does it actually help as much, though, for us, like the philosophy stuff, the research points? Yes, it helps small? hugely. Okay. Yeah. But for bigger nations, it helps a lot more. Not really. Well, I guess that's true. But only only to a degree. It really only helps extra if you're a great power and uh, that. But as Britain, I'm guessing you can get, like, a lot of <laughs> nice decks going. Yeah, it actually helps more if you're, like, Prussia. The Germans, for whatever oh, reason, yeah. start with, like, 70% literacy. Oh, wow. As I say. Oh, yeah. Axe. Oh. 11.1% literacy. Yeah, it's going so up. So, I'm about to hit 200 relations with Russia. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you can't necessarily um, influence how the dice fall. Mm -hmm. It might take them a little while, but if you... Let's click on you. Have a look at you. Hmm. Well, currently, you're in the sphere of Great Britain, and uh, both France and Russia are friendly to you. Unfortunately, they aren't inf investing any influence in you right now. So it might take a while before you get ripped out of the sphere of Br Great Britain, if you yeah. do at all. Who knows? Uh, right now, I think Russia might be focusing on me, maybe, if I'm lucky. But um, I can still improve my relations with great powers, because sitting at 9 diplo points is a little bit useless. Yeah, it's wasteful. It, and it, I don't see much else you can spend them on. Yeah, as a general rule, right now. improve your relations with anyone who is not the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm, yeah. Like, Prussia. I recommend Prussia. Remember, the Prussian Space Marines. I know right. it's a meme, but it's right. <laughs> Prussia is OP. So where do you see your allies? Because I can't see them. Well, if you just click on a country, it shows you allied with. Oh, okay. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it shows you're allied with the Ottomans right now. Oh, okay. I, I had the show great powers thing on and yeah. not the show wars. Yeah, that changes the data available, so you gotta, yeah. gotta watch that. Yeah, I don't All think right. you'll be allied to the Ottomans in the long run. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm technically still protected by the Ottomans, and they can't declare war on me, which works Okay, hold on. Uh, can you like... pause? I got some event. Oh, sure. Uh, all population in Greek Peloponnese becomes 10% more liberal. Gain 1 militancy, gain 1%, 1.0 1 militancy, 1 1.0 consciousness. That's or good, though. all pops in Peloponnese changed by minus 1% and gain 4 militancy. So 10% more liberal is not necessarily a bad thing, right? Not really. It means they'll want more reforms towards democracy. 
Uh, on the other hand, you can just go and shoot a bunch of people and they won't be liberal anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's Those not are your two that. options. Let them become more liberal. Mm -hmm. or... Yeah, I let them become more liberal. Yeah. That's... Uh, those are your two options. I can so. pretend I like democracy. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to do it. The uh, last 36 months, the price of machine parts has steadily increased. gone up. The research goes way faster than I thought it will. I'm looking at the the newspapers. <laughs> oh, yes. Newspapers. Oh, yeah, there are newspapers. <laughs> Pro tip, no one ever looks at the newspapers. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> War between Spain and Morocco. Nobody cares. Crisis averted. <laughs> yeah, Not just read more about my shame, why don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? We have fielded three out of zero possible brigades that our soldiers can support. Yep, sounds about right. Must be the military spending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgot to build the liquor distillery. Yeah, I'm still too poor for that crap. Yeah, I'm still waiting to get more money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Remember, the Russian prince actually, for whatever reason, by the way, is rich. Uh, so how <laughs> exactly do you affect your efficient or uh, tax efficiency? Technologies for the most part. Mm -hmm. If you go into right. uh, the commerce tab at the top, there's just financial institutions. <laughs> right. Let's just look along that track. Tax efficiency is 5% for every tech. Yeah. There you go. So that's a good tech to get, no? Uh, yeah, if you need more money. So Do you ever definitely. not need more money? <laughs> I don't this? need more money, said no one ever. Yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> what is this projected daily balance? Minus 8,000. Uh, that's but because you broke wrong. a factory. Yeah, it's so that wrong. That just means it, it, it's, it is totally wrong. <laughs> it's because you've prepaid all that in advance and the game doesn't realize it. <laughs> like you, you, you just uh, the money was consumed into this weird pit, where it where where it's not part of your balance, but for whatever reason the projected data yeah. balance doesn't realize like that it exists. Yeah. Oh, it's oh okay, it's construction. Uh, yeah, spending. it is. Yeah. It's uh, it's for constructing the factory. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't actually realize it. So oh, can we actually enough. talk a bit about the important tech lines in here because there are actually a lot. There are. There yeah. are 25 times 5. That's easy. You can follow along. Like, for example, any tech that says activate something, like activate lumber, what exactly does that do? Uh, that gets you a new factory. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but it says both you know, activate it, lumber mill, which I assume is just allowing you to build that, but what about activate lumber? Well, activate lumber is not really a point and it's already been activated mm -hmm. but if no one has researched that tech before if you're the first one to get it then you okay. activate that resource All in right. particular if you go to industry and go mm -hmm. to organic chemistry uh there's one activate fuel right like for oil and uh later on you'll see activate cars activate telephones yep, i see it uh such resources are not listed in our uh trade tab mm -hmm. because they are not activated yet Okay. Uh, It'd be is, funny if they were activated yeah, now. Yeah, kind of, kind of be would be kind of <laughs> weird. Um, so since they aren't, uh, yeah, you know, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, and the little activate, you know, lumber mill is for activating the factory, allowing you to build it. And what about military techs? Because we didn't even consider getting any of them. Isn't it a bad idea to fall way behind in military tech? Well, here's the problem, at least for me. I'm you have to balance ass. it somehow, surely. Yeah. Uh, it depends on your strategy. I plan to get Russia to fight most of my wars mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> right. Um, you're probably going to need a few military techs here and there, yeah? And try not to fall too far behind. But as a general rule, things like research points come first. Education efficiency comes second. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that, that's fair to say. And then depending on whether or not you want to go more army or industry heavy is up to you. Uh, I'm going to go for the bit more industry heavy. So, one more thing uh, on the technology screen. Possible yep. inventions. What's that all about? When you research a technology, uh, basically a bunch of little possible inventions will appear from that. And those mm -hmm. grant you additional bonuses beyond... Right. So right now we're all researching idealism. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you click on the idealism tech in the bottom right, there'll be three little gray light bulbs next to some names. Yep. 
And those are the uh, proverbial inventions. They'll get moved over into the left column once the technology is researched. Okay. And then you'll have a percent chance every month of unlocking them, which grants you an additional bonus. In the case of idealism, it's just some prestige. Right. But if you go to some other ones, especially army techs, where you can get uh, additional attack and stuff. Yeah, that seems very luck based Like, you have 2% additional chance to make your army stronger. Oh, you have no idea how luck based it is. Because mm -hmm. gas attack and gas defense. Okay, hold on. Can you pause for a moment again? Okay. Apparently, I can lose 10% population. Oh, it's the Aegon Islands. I don't really care about these guys. Nobody ever does. <laughs> Minus 10%. People die. Stuff happens. Jesus Who cares? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you are a terrible human being, my Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Ugh. Genocide is commonplace in this game. Mm -hmm. You have yep. to have no conscience to play this game. <laughs> it's pretty commonplace in real life, too, I'm just saying. <laughs> it is, it is. Especially in this time period. Oh, yes. Is, is there a paradox game in which genocide doesn't happen? <laughs> Hearts Probably of Iron. not. Hearts of Iron, actually, which is the weirdest mm -hmm. one. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? That's the wor worst part is the game is like the entire war was over the genocide of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Yet the game has absolutely no genocide at all. <laughs> it just sidesteps genocide of all kind. Uh, There's no cultures, no religions, just soldiers. I just researched the idealism. Good work. Uh, so now, positivism or some industry stuff, I wonder. Like, yeah. the next railroad or the next... I'm doing more tax. <laughs> yeah. More I tax just tax the shit out of my people. <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. I can't tell you what to do. Because then we'd all be researching the exact same thing. I like more money, what can I say? Yeah. I like education. Yep. I'll go for that. Mm -hmm. That's that's perfectly fair. There's there's not really a wrong answer in this case. Uh, just remember, nobody cares about like, you know, certain texts. Right. So, like, I nobody guess... actually cares about aesthetics, which serves to do nothing but give you increased prestige. Doesn't but, actually do anything else. But you become a great power more easily though, like that, right? In the early game, yeah. yes. You'll find actually prestige is the least valuable of the scores that you can have. Mm -hmm. uh, industry and military are far more valuable. Like, in the late game, military scores I see skyrocket easily into the thousands because suddenly dreadnoughts are a thing. So, it's safe to, like, completely ignore aesthetics for the whole game? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, okay. the only thing I ignore more than it usually is naval techs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can but, just ignore that completely. Uh, I probably yeah, can too. But if you're Britain, you can't ignore that now. Yeah, exactly. If you're Britain, you actually have to care. <laughs> So, pretty much every military tech increases supply consumption. Yep. Which makes That's, your army yeah. more expensive That's, to maintain, I assume. Yeah. Correct, because you have to buy more guns, more right. clothes, and all that shit. For How them. unreasonable. Yeah, exactly. Then I assume again, morale like, is still a king, like in EU4, or is it? Um, like, for example, the army leadership uh, line. Army you professionalism is plus 10% morale. It's actually organization. Okay. Morale exists in this game, but it's entirely something else compared to... Okay, uh, so, war. right. So what about morale and military tactics? Like, the whole army leadership tree. All right, I'll, I'll go over that, sure. Um, mm -hmm. Real quick. So, you have morale, military tactics, and organization. organization yeah, can you pause for a moment? I got a decision. Okay. I'll keep talking. All right. Um, so, our... You have three things, organization, morale, and military tactics. Yep. Organization is the same thing that uh, morale is in EU4. It's just the hard thing that causes your people to retreat when they run out of it. Can okay. you see, like, your current total somewhere? Yeah, on the military screen. Yep. Right? Kinda. Mm, yeah, um, I don't see morale in here. Yeah, I don't think it's actually in there. Yeah, okay, because never it's mind. Because unit-by-unit unit basis. If you go to build army, I think... It mm -hmm. should show in there somewhere, but I can't build anything right now to see. It actually... It's going, though. Um, however, morale is your organizational regain rate. Oh, okay. And military tactics just affects how good your troops fight. Okay. So, for people who play EU4, organization is basically morale in this game, right? Yep. Organization is morale, mm -hmm. and morale is morale regain rate. And I saw Except some texts that improved that, I think. Wrong in the tool tips because yeah, the whole military said, science tree improves organization. I mean, if, 
if you select an army and then you look at the green bar, it shows morale. That it's yeah. like organization, mm -hmm. yep. right? It yep. does. But if you go to military and you hover over that same green bar, it shows that it's morale. <laughs> so what is it? Oh, no, it does paradox? actually. See? Yeah, yeah, it actually does. Morale one hundred percent. I assume that's just a fuck up. Yeah, it's just yeah. a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, used to it. <laughs> Not question it. It was perfect. Nobody claimed this game was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. That's, that's why it's better to listen to me than the tooltips. Yeah, it's... okay. Apparently, rebel factions are organizing in my country. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Mm -hmm. That'll happen. They're Greek reactionaries. Expected. Do the I reaction? have to care about that? Um, uh, I don't e see. Maybe? I got I'm like 6,000, but everything else is at zero. Like, literally everything is at zero, but there are 6,000 members of yeah. the faction. So, yeah, that's fine. Let's find out why there are rebels in your country. Mm. Go to the population tab and hit select all in the top right. Okay. And uh, make sure you select your country uh, on the tree on the left. Yep, and, and sort then by rebel faction. Sort by militancy, actually. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't see militancy. The little fire. I'm not seeing it. What? Size, oh, yeah, I right. see it. Right, yeah, I see it. If you mouse over that, it will tell you why militancy is going up or going down. Mm-hmm. Monthly change. Life needs not fulfilled. Soldiers. Every day needs not fulfilled. In short, soldiers, they're not getting... Right? Yeah, they're soldiers. Yeah, it's all life needs not fulfilled and every <laughs> That's because day you're not needs. paying your soldiers. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I, I blame all. you. You said it's a good idea to reduce I it. Tried it. Hey, I, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> you almost have more, enough money for a factory now, don't you? Uh, yep. So exactly. I'll just raise military spending and that should fix it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you give their soldiers money, they won't... Or I can risk. just let them complain because yeah, they're 0% revolt risk. Yeah, they, they, the, the odds of your soldiers actually organizing into mm -hmm. something that will be a threat to you is pretty unlikely. But if they do, you're actually kind of screwed. Yeah, because then your <laughs> army suddenly turns into rebels and then you yeah. don't have an army anymore. Ugh. I'm, I'm not making money, like, from our liquid distillery. It's just, like, plus 0 0.05. That's probably because you don't have any craftsmen. Yeah, I have uh, only 135. <laughs> okay, one more thing. What about administration efficiency, which is the monetary uh, system line? Yeah, How important is that? My short answer is just pretend it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what to research next. If you click on a province, actually, well, I found one in my country conveniently right now. Uh, click on Bor. It's in my country. It's uh, my click most on what? right province. Bor. B-O-R. It's a province in my country. Oh, you mean a... Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you go... Uh, I'm then not you go down it. Thing. Hold on. My country. You're looking at Serbia, right? Yeah, I see southern Serbia. No. Southern Serbia is not in my country. Wait, what? Yeah, th this Here. map is kind of hard to read when you're zoomed in. Yeah, I see it. I got it. Yeah, well, all right, you found mm -hmm. Boar. So, um, if you go and have a little look on the bottom left pane, there should yep. be a little thing that reads Spoil System. Can you see that? Not really. Which part that? of it? In the, in the bottom left. It's just under what it produces, grain. And just above the pop province population. Cards, supply limit, Fort Naval Base Railroad. I'm not Up. seeing it. Province population. Province population. Up. Province life rating. And terrain plane. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, so there is... Really? Okay, can, can you guys see the grain icon? Yep. Yes. Right Maybe below it's, that. It's cards. It's cards. Maybe it's just for you. I guess so. Yeah, I, oh fuck, I click on somebody else. Because, I like, when it. I click on my own provinces, yeah, 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 I yeah, see I'm something completely different than you. Yeah, that, that's fair. It, it's, it's something only shown to me. It, yeah. You select through your own provinces, see if you can find something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see, um, like, I see Mafia minus 5% factory output. Yeah, that's what administration efficiency actually affects. There'll yeah. be little, like, crimes. Okay, so that's what you're talking about. Problems. Yeah. Okay, Machine so politics. My, yeah. Plus 500% strength of strongest party. What? <laughs> okay. Good news, that doesn't matter because you don't have votes. Mm -hmm. as, a, yeah. as a good news, most of the crimes don't matter because you don't have elections. Immoral business, minus 20% RGO output. So can you actually do anything about these modifiers or are they there like permanently? Uh, they they kind of come and go over time. Uh, it's like and an event, basically, yeah? 
basically, yeah, it's just a mini little mm -hmm. province event okay. that we'll fuck around with a bit. And uh, the higher your administration efficiency, the less often they occur. Yeah, They're I see spoil negative. system now, plus 200% ruling party support. Yeah. But why are... Okay, this is weird. Hold on. I lost the previous one. Okay. Why are some are... Oh, now it's a different one. I thought one was yep. red and the other one was green, but it was the same modifier. It's different. Yeah, uh, it might say green, but it's don't actually worry about it. Mm -hmm. The spoil Plus, system one I know shows green. Yeah, okay. But it's just strength of ruling party. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually matter. All right. Um, but yeah, they're all basically negative things. You generally don't want them. And, you know. All right. All right. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Can you pause for a moment? Yeah, yeah. Have just come because to life uh, I'm capped on research points, and I still didn't pick what I want to research. Ugh. There are so many texts to choose from. Yep. That there are. You're just rushing functionalities. So mining uh, output, farming output. Is that something I should care about? Uh yes. Both of those things are related to you. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's that. Fucking politics are stacked to shit against me. I wish there was a way to make it automatically increase the relations. This is gonna suck. So it's not gonna work again, your crisis? Uh, it's going to work in about the worst way possible. Oh, By the way, wow. Russia, Austria, UK. <laughs> uh, by the way, website. wait, what? Uh, diplomacy. <laughs> the crisis <laughs> exists is not good for me. Oh yeah, I see it. Yes. Can you pause Goodbye. for a moment? Like speed four is a little bit too much right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Okay. So crisis Goodbye, over the return no. of Serbia's rightful territories. Yeah. So wait. This, uh, wait. This if, isn't good. So what is this about? So, return to who? Me. If you'll notice on the Russian Empire side, there's a little fl Serbian flag. Right. Russia is, wants me to acquire southern Serbia. Mm -hmm. The Ottoman Empire wants to just acquire Georgia from Russia. Right. And uh, you can see who's on whose side. Mm -hmm. With France still being on the fence, they'll join Russia. Probably. Soon. Right. Uh, currently, Spain. it's Spain and Russia versus... Uh, the Ottoman Empire, Prussia, Austria, and the United Kingdom. This AKA is still nice kind of confusing, war. honestly. <laughs> nice world war. <laughs> just, just wait. It'll make sense when it goes to war. Mm. Oh, okay. Because, because when it goes to war, the, the, there'll be two sides to the war, and then you'll start seeing it. It can be resolved diplomatically, but I have a feeling it. Ru okay, yeah, yeah. This. Oh, wow. Oh, it was accepted. diplomatically. And on top <laughs> so of that, that th does that mean they got Georgia? Yes, it, go, it go over and look at Georgia. Mm, from the Ottomans. It's now under control of the Ottomans. Yeah. <laughs> why why no, Russia? That was why? interesting. Well, fuck. <laughs> and Kelvin gets screwed over again. Yeah, this ain't going well for me. <laughs> uh, like I said, the, the problem is Russia didn't get any allies mm -hmm. at the start of the game. Yeah. There's always one great power who doesn't get allies at the start of the game. Okay. Because there's the USA on the other side. There's a rule that is a great power cannot have more than one great power ally. Mm -hmm. So right. the USA won't ally any Europeans. And the other seven are all Europeans. So that means there's seven possible great powers to ally. That's an odd number. So one will always be left out. All right. Unfortunately for me, it was fucking Russia. Yeah. So I'm pissed. <laughs> So that basically <laughs> messed up your entire strategy. Yeah, that's why I've been basically bribing Prussia this whole time, trying mm -hmm. to get them to support me in crisis. I actually probably need to say fuck you to Russia and to start decreasing relations and try and make sure they never support me again. It, it sucks. All right, but I, I think we should make a cut at this point. <laughs> so this <laughs> will be the end of episode? second episode. Is this just going to be a theme where every episode one of my crises just goes horribly wrong? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, so thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you weren't too confused. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.